On every street corner, Mayor Bloomberg would like to see more red light cameras catching or at least deterring drivers from ignoring traffic lights. And he's all for speeding cameras as well. New York One's Roger Clark is in Brooklyn this morning with more on what could be on the way. Good morning, Roger. Chris, and good morning. That's right. Very busy uh, Fourth Avenue where there are some of those red light cameras. And uh, we've been watching them throughout the morning. Now, let's talk about the uh, financial side of things. The red light cameras brought in more than $15 million in fines last year. That's up more than $15 million from 2009. And uh, one reason the city says for the jump in revenue is a program to collect unpaid violations. Now, the mayor uh, is very adamant about the idea that he would like to see more of these uh, cameras. And to add more, though, the city needs approval from the state legislature. Now, the mayor has actually offered a way to push for this. He says, uh, why not uh, embarrass faulty drivers and embarrass the lawmakers in Albany into doing it? Maybe what we should do is do it and start publishing in the paper who does it and then a list of the, of the senators and, and assemblymen who keep us from having cameras. And every time there's somebody hit, it would be nice to say, okay, assemblyman and senator so-and-so didn't think that person's life. I'm, well, this, is, this is our lives of our people we're talking about. This is not something cute. And we've got to do something about it. And the mayor has also said he supports cameras that catch drivers who speed as well. He says you can't have a cop in every corner, but technology is key. Critics say the cameras violate people's privacy. Folks uh, may not like the idea of having to pay a $50 fine, but they understand the concept behind it, Kristen.